Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the channel. Hey, I'm out cruising around in the Tundra. I've had this Tundra now for, I think it's been just about a year, maybe a hair shy or a hair over, something like that. And there are five things that I really do hate about the Tundra. Now, overall, I love the Tundra. I mean, it's an awesome truck. I wouldn't replace it with anything else. But there are five things that I really don't like and particularly today for some reason you know I wasn't really planning on shooting a video today uh, but I was out cruising around and these things really bothered me so I thought I'd get on here and talk about them and the first one you know right now today it is uh, 77 degrees outside not very humid, kind of overcast, so it's a perfect day to have the driver's side or all the windows down, you know, let the air blow through here, air the truck out a little bit. And I, I thought, you know, gee, I'd like to have the rear window open, but it's not power. I would have to stop the truck, because I, I can't reach back there. I would have to stop the truck, get out. I've talked about this before, but today it's really driving me nuts. I'd have to stop the truck, get out, crawl in the back seats, open the window, and then hope that this overcast day doesn't turn into a rainstorm or something, you know? I don't think that's gonna happen, but if it did, I'd have to pull over, get out in the rain, and shut the window. Power window in the rear. They all should have it. Any cab that you can't reach from the driver's seat to open or close that window, it should be power. Next up, another thing that bugs me because of my situation, probably even more so, but if you have a tight garage, you can probably relate, and that is power mirrors. Why doesn't something this big with mirrors that stick out so far, because it is a big truck, have power mirrors? Now, I said in my situation, for those of you that watch the channel, you know that I have a lift in my garage that I pull under, right? And I have the columns on both sides, and I have to have the mirrors on the truck folded in, or I can't fit. So every time I go in or out, I have to either get out and walk around the truck and, you know, put the passenger side out after I back out, or put the window down and put the driver's side out after I back the truck out and then vice versa when I get back home, right? Because I'm gonna park the truck in the garage. Now, it's a drag, especially if it's raining outside. You know, I mean, you're outside, right? Again, the weather. If you're outside and it's pouring down rain, you gotta run around the truck, pull all the mirrors out. And I know this is a first world problem. I mean, I understand that, but still, why wouldn't a truck this big have power mirrors? It should be standard, you know? And I think it's not even, you know, really just my situation. I mean, if, if you live in a house that has a rather tight garage, um, I'm assuming you have to do something with your mirrors as well. And I know what happens out there because I saw a post recently of a fellow that um, his wife was complaining, right? Because he was pulling too close to her. So he tried to pull over further and when he did, he clipped his mirror. Not a good thing, right? So now he has to screw with that. Next up, the thing that nobody wants to talk about, but everybody does, and I'm gonna talk about it again, only because I was just at the gas station. It seems like I was just at the gas station two days ago, right? To fill up the truck. I mean, I drive this truck on a daily basis now while I'm waiting on my 2020 Tacoma to come in. and. It burns gas. Now, I knew that when I got it, right? I knew it was horrible on gas. But since I'm talking about five things that I hate, maybe to help somebody else out there who's considering, you know, picking up a truck, this isn't necessarily just the Tundra. I mean, they all get pretty crappy gas mileage. Some better, um, probably none worse. But it would have been nice if the Tundra got just a little bit better gas mileage. Now, supposedly they're gonna fix this on the next version. Mine, in case you didn't know, is a, is a 2019. So the 2021 is supposed to be the remodel, the redesign, the super duper hyper miling Tundra that's coming out. I call it that. Rumor has it's gonna get, you know, 20, or rather over 30 miles per gallon. We'll see, I don't know. 
Now, of course, that'll change a little bit once I, uh, once I get my Tundra and start splitting the driving duties. But for now, the gas mileage, it just really sucks. Next up, and a lot of these have to do with power. You, you may see a theme here. Uh, power tailgate. Why doesn't this truck come with a power locking tailgate? I'm not talking about power up and down. I think that's crazy. You know, some trucks have a button you can push and it will raise and lower the tailgate. Pretty slick, I must admit, but you know, not a big deal for me. But it should at least have a power locking tailgate. You know, and that should be tied to the key, to the key fob. In other words, when you lock your truck, it should automatically lock the power or the, the tailgate, rather. Why not? In this day and age, and what does it cost? You can get, what is it, a pop and lock, something like that, for, I don't know, a couple hundred bucks. I would have paid a couple hundred bucks more to have that feature on this truck. It's just like the mirrors. It should just be there. I don't know why it isn't. Last up, and this is probably because I'm spoiled with both the Jeep that we have and the Tacoma. And that is push button start and what goes along with it. You know, I love that I can grab the key fob for the Tacoma, put it in my pocket and forget about it. You know, I get in, I push the button, the truck starts, I drive off. I don't have a key stabbing me in the thigh when I go somewhere and have to take the key out. Now I've got this pointy thing stabbing me, right? I just put the key fob in my pocket and forget about it. Now, I also mentioned the things that go along with it. Well, I think the things that go along with it are touchless or keyless entry, right? I mean, you get out, again, you don't have to touch that key fob. You just touch the door. The door locks. Your tailgate locks. Everything's locked. Why doesn't this truck come with that? I mean, I can understand if you go with a base level, you know, because you don't want these options or you don't want to pay for them. I understand that, but it should be an option at, at the very least at this trim level. I mean, this is an SR5. It's an SR5 double cab. I realize it's not a top of the line Platinum or 1794, but why does it have to be? These are simple options that are available on all kinds of vehicles these days. I mean, they're everywhere. It should be on this truck as a matter of convenience. Now, I know that there's a lot of people out there, for some reason, it still boggles my mind, really, that people don't like push button start or touchless entry, that they want that old fashioned key. I don't understand that. Same thing with the tailgate. They want that. I don't understand that. I really, really don't get it. Why wouldn't you want the convenience of just throwing that key fob in your pocket and forgetting about it. Go about your business, do your thing. You don't have to worry about it. Now I'm gonna throw one more thing in there, one more bonus thing in there, and that's rain sensing wipers. Now this one is probably a bit picky, I know. But again, it's another one of those options out there. And I think of it today because it is an overcast day and looks like it, it could rain somewhere, who knows. But Again, why not have rain sensing wipers on the truck so that you don't have to worry about turning the wipers on? I mean, in this day and age, it, it seems archaic to me that we don't have these things that are so available in the market on other vehicles. I mean, there are much cheaper cars out there, I know, I've had them, that have these options, or at least some of these options. The Tundra should have these things. These are the five slash six. We could drop the six one off if you wanted to. But five things that I really, really hate about my Tundra. Again, not enough that I'd, I'd be willing to go out there and pick up something else, you know, that comes with these things because there are other benefits to the truck, things I've talked about on the channel before that far outweigh these options. And some people would say that I'm being picky. You know, and if I want these things, I should go get a, a Lexus SUV, you know. Well, I don't buy that. These options are out there. They've been out there for years, and they should be on the Tundra. And hopefully, hopefully, in this new redesigned version that's coming, it's going to have these things. Or at least you'll have the ability 
to add these things if you want to, and maybe even on a lower trim level. Anyway, I just wanted to get on here, talk about those things, let you guys know, leave a comment down below. Am I being too picky? Should I just shut up and drive the truck? I know some of you are gonna say that. As usual, appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time on the web. Have a great day. Bye.